I first met Ross Scanlon over in Medfield three years ago where he was running the doghouse of Medfield, the little hot dog cart out in front of the hardware store in town. Well, Ross has gone on to bigger and better things. He's purchased a Peabody Icon, the Little Depot Diner. This is Worcester, Worcester Lunch Cart number 650, built in 1929. It's uh, technically probably somewhere around number 850 because they didn't start numbering them until they built a, a, about 200 or so. Uh, originally it was built in Worcester and sent right out to Lynn where it was there for a few years and then it actually moved over to Danvers for a few years and it uh, came here in the 50s and it's been here ever since. You know, luckily with the World Wide Web and, and how that works, you know, Ross saw this for sale so hung over one morning, he, he grabbed me, he said, let's go check it out. Um, so we did, and we fell in love. We were in the hot dogs and catering business for a while, and uh, you know, the only difficult with that is it's kind of a seasonal thing, so we were looking to get somewhere a little bit more, you know, year round, a little, little steadier and consistent. Um, so we started looking around for, you know, we like these, we like diners and diner hours and stuff like that, so we started looking around for all different diners in the area, and. Uh, you know, like Alicia said, as soon as we found this, we knew within five minutes this would be the one we would buy. And what I love about it is I, I personally think I have great people skills. And that is something that I believe I've carried my whole life. Uh, working for family, I worked for my father's hardware store for 10 years in Medfield. And I had a newfound love and appreciation for, for customers and wanting to cater to them. So you, you leave out the, the, the screws and bolts and the paint and you throw in a little bit of breakfast sandwiches and hot dogs and you got me a perfect match. So this is original original floor, original wall, uh, this tile's original, the original marble counter is under here. We thought the previous owners did such a great job with this place and that was what we wanted to do is just keep it going. And we still have the all aboard, the train wreck, the whole train theme because up here there's a lot of railroad enthusiasts, which I was unaware about. Um, and we just really wanted to keep it going. You know, so, so the lunch menu is a little bit more extensive than what they, they previously had, and we then incorporated Ross's Hot Dogs. Like your, your basic American classics, you know, breakfast, breakfast, lunch, and then, um, you know, obviously we want the hot dogs to catch on too. It's unbelievable the support that we've received up here, and what I've noticed from the North Shore is they are willing to embrace the mom and pop businesses. One of the beauties of the hot dog business is not, you know, a crazy overhead and a crazy investment. So, you know, we did that for a few years and ended up loving it and stuff like that and just kind of, you know, eventually built our way up. And, you know, the diner was, was really kind of a lifetime dream of mine and I just thought the, um, the hot dog cart would be a good stepping stone on how to get there. We do have coffee milk and what's funny is that people from this area aren't aware of coffee milk and myself, growing up right next to the Rhode Island border, you travel a minute from my house and all they do is offer coffee milk when you go to any of the Coney Island places. Uh, this is the uh, this is actually the first day of our takeout window we're opening and that's kind of an idea we had uh, before we actually even bought the diner knowing that it was limited seating and eventually um, you know there's kind of you have to have an overflow so we thought it'd be a good way for us to uh, you know kind of get the product out there when people are in a rush and stuff like that and I'm very glad how everything worked out. I have a very important question for you. What's that, Rob? You put ketchup on your hot dogs. You're talking to the ketchup queen. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. They have the chocolate chip pancakes. They're awesome. Like they're fluffy and melted. It's awesome. The food is delicious, that's for one. The service oh. is even better. Have you been here before? Yes, I have. Been coming here forever. Well, he makes me a fantastic egg white omelet. Have you tried his hot dogs yet? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't eat a lot of hot dogs personally, but uh, everybody that does eat them has been raving about them. I want to order a hot dog, a mustard, relish, and onion. Thank you. I'm going to eat this inside. <laughs> the best hot dog I've ever had. <laughs> what can I get for you? All right, I am going to have the um, Old Neighborhood Frank with Everything except the red stuff. You got it. Fancy. Red onions for everything here. Fancy. I like the red onions. Here's your hot dog with no ketchup. Thank you. You're welcome. Time to chow down. 
<clears throat> Good stuff. Happy National Hot Dog Month from the Little Depot Diner. Thanks. Have a nice day. That's the hot dog man, that guy.